In this video we're going to continue with work with fractions we're going to learn how to simplify fractions. So the first question is how do we simplify a fraction? To simplify a fraction we'll find the highest common factor of both the numerator and the denominator which is the top and the bottom and we'll divide them both by that fraction and that simplifies them. So the highest common factor, which is here, and I'll write that as it's just as HCF, and most maths textbooks do that as well. So, the highest common factor of something is the biggest number that goes into both numbers. So we're going to do some examples here. This one's going to be 2. This one's going to be 3. And this one here doesn't have a factor. There's no factor of both 4 and 7. But these two, these two here are factors. That's 2, the highest common factor, and that one's 3. Okay, so now we're going to simplify some fractions. So to simplify this, the highest common factor of these two numbers is 3. So what I'm going to do is divide them both by 3. The top one will be 1 when I divide it, and the bottom one will be 4. All I've done is divided both numbers by 3, because 3 is the highest common factor. This next one here, I've got 70 over 100. Now I can see that the highest common factor of both of these is 10. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 10, and get 7 tenths. Next one here. The highest common factor of 21 and 28 is 7. So what I'm going to do is to divide the top and the bottom by 7. So when I divide the top I get 3, when I divide the bottom I get 4. So that simplifies to 3 quarters. Last one here. Highest common factor of the top and the bottom is 5. So I divide them both by 5. I get 4 on the top, 5 on the bottom, so I get 4 fifths. So now after saying that, you might be wondering, do all fractions simplify? The answer is no. None of these fractions simplify. Because if you look carefully, there's no highest common factor of both the top and the bottom for this one. And also for these two, Notice that the numerator and denominator are both prime. And when the numerator and the denominator are both prime, they don't simplify. Because prime numbers only have the highest common factors as themselves. And a number isn't isn't the number isn't prime if the denominator or numerator is a factor of the other. For example, if I had 2 and 4, then 2 is a prime number, but 4 isn't, because 2 is a factor of 4. So you know what prime numbers are. And the other one I want to tell you is there's some special fractions here. Like we can have 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 4 over 4, and so on. So I can call this number here some letter N. We can call this bottom number the same number, n. And these all simplify to 1. Because look, what a fraction is, there's so many parts out of, of something. And if you've got two parts from of two halves, then you've got 1. And if you've got three thirds, then you've got 1. Because see, these themselves are factors, so we're dividing 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, and those all give 1. Okay, so that's a special fraction, where the top and the bottom are the same, and they all simplify to 1. 